my name is Odomir. I'm a London-based artist and I create figurative collages um, of women in beautiful costume. And um, this series that I have for Knitting and Stitching show is called Cirque. Um, I have looked at performers, I've looked at dance and choreography and um, really tried to capture poses that um, have this life, have this energy um, about them uh, and at the same time taking cultural references from the material that I've used which is uh, batik fabric um, and that has kind of a uh, uh, connotations with uh, Africa, West Africa, where my uh, parents are from, um, Nigeria, and I kind of grew up around women wearing beautiful colours, matching shoes and head wraps and just looking glamorous, um, and you can notice that there's, uh, they're quite animated, um, so there's this sense of movement, and which is why I love textiles so much, because you can create that 3D effect and really bring them to life. Um, which people just get instantly um, and, and yeah I'm really kind of excited about the series and kind of showing it off to the public. Um, with each of the figures it's about um, yes there's this there's this animatedness about them I don't know if that's a word um, but I like each one kind of has have their own personality or own ca own character um, some of them are more kind of serene and, and calming um, than others um, and with this particular piece that's very popular that's been used in the magazine um, it's very open like the limbs are very open and, and wide and the costume is very stylized um, and with that piece in particular, I think it is, it is more of a direct reference to the, the um, Cirque uh, de Soleil costume and performance and then kind of uh, marinating it with the traditional costumes that I, that I wear. So um, big kind of shoulder pads, poofy shoulder pads, um, really clear, big um, patterns. Um, and yeah, so the, the whole ethos around that piece in particular is, is, is very stylized in terms of her pose, what she's wearing, um, even down to the, the tiny baby print that some people get when they see it, some people don't, some people like it, some people hate it, so um, yeah I definitely thought about that piece in terms of her, her nice silhouette and shape uh, more than the others. So, so yeah, so the whole concept behind the work is kind of to, to bring them to life, so to create kind of folds and, and ruching and looking at how um, fabric kind of moves uh, around the body um, and just to create that form, you know, sometimes people look at them and are like, I can see the legs, I can see the shapes of the limbs, um, which is not really my intention, but if they see it, great, um, but it just adds to the whole of, you know, bringing them to life and making them... Um, realistic looking lovely textures sort of coming together and like creating something really beautiful um, and also I didn't mention that the figures are, pen, are hand drawn so they're made using a pencil crayon um, and that's just because I love mixed media and also it's, it's about the fabric um, sometimes I kind of have to explain to people they're like how do you attach the fabric to the paper um, yeah so it's kind of a, a mixture of stitching and um, using an adhesive to get that that sculpture um, and again that's just from my uh, research of just looking at uh, sculpture um, and looking at paintings particularly renaissance, renaissance painting actually where the women are wearing these there's just so many folds in, in the dresses and looking at sort of uh, light and how it, it creates these folds and shapes. So trying to mimic that um, on the paper with fabric. I don't know if that makes any sense. <laughs> and then um, the fact that the the figure itself is 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 flat. It kind of raises the the. It, the material is then raised, becomes more three-dimensional and just uh, just looks more lifelike. It's almost like it's a person inside the frame. <laughs> inside the frame. Um, so there's a particular piece um, that 
is very popular um, and I love it for a lot of reasons so that the particular fabric that I use I got when I was in Ghana um, and it just reminds me of when I went to the market and was um, sourcing fabrics and looking at the women and what they were wearing and um, just the atmosphere it was busy it was vibrant there was color um, and the particular fabric that I chose was one that was very popular one that the younger ladies was wearing and um, yeah it just kind of brings that energy and that just that atmosphere um, every time I look at it so it's one of my favorite pieces um, that piece I kind of nicknamed dragon dragonfly <laughs> just because the pattern is a dragonfly um, so with that piece I was definitely looking at shape and form um, so I mentioned about um, how fabric kind of moves and you know the shapes it creates very natural um, and it was definitely about um, sort of that like you can just imagine somebody moving in the wind and they're moving rapidly and the, the material is just is in a flurry it's going everywhere um, so I very much was layering um, fabric and kind of letting it fold and do what it wants because that's what it does um, which is kind of why I love to use material um, so so yes yeah, so I had kind of no I didn't draw out that the, the outline of the trousers that was very much just the, the fabric taking its own shape and me letting it and trying to be organic with it um, as much as I could and um, and yeah that's the one in particular where people are like I can see the leg the legs forming and I'm like okay <laughs> um, but they just get it like they're just and it's probably out of all of them the one that um, comes out is more three-dimensional because I've kind of let the fabric do as what it wants. So as part of my practice I also do workshops. Um, I do like um, art textile workshops where again we kind of get our hands into textiles um, different uh, mediums and kind of cre create like beautiful stories um, through the work that we've created. Um, exhibitions, I have one with the Craft Council coming up in November, it's called We Gather, um, which I'm really excited about. That's a, a group show of um, women of colour, um, artists and um, creatives who are kind of sharing our work, sharing our stories um, and that's from November the 17th um, to January which I'm really excited about so check it out. So that's that's me, I hope you've enjoyed kind of looking at the work. I really kind of wanted to um, bring some bring some drama which is why they're kind of hanging and swinging and, and um, really energise you all. I know a lot of people are you know just coming um, out of lockdown and have been shielding um, but so just trying to bring that life and energy and joy um, as soon as you kind of get into the building and have a walk around. So, yeah. <laughs>